And uh, I don't believe there could have been a more appropriate beginning for this segment than listening to David and Jacob, an entry into this uh, program that we're going to show you. Um, the power of young people, I think, was incredibly performed by these two kids. And so what we're going to do is show you a short film. The title of the film is called The Evolution of a Spark. That was redundant. The title of the film is The Evolution of a Spark. So I thought I would tell you a little about the evolution of a spark film. A little over a month ago, I was asked if I would be interested in making a film for TEDx American Riviera on kids. Kids. That's something I know about. I have two of them. I know some incredible kids. We all do. So I was in. I thought it would be a great opportunity to bring young people into TEDx American Riviera as well as be a noble and really fun effort. So then we decided I shouldn't make that film. They should. So we recruited a group of middle school and a couple of high school kids to be volunteers throughout the project. In fact, everybody on the project was volunteer. And in a month, we produced a poster, which was distributed all over town. These kids got on social networks, spread the word. We contacted over 20 high school and middle school principals, urging them to get these kids to nominate their friends, their peers, people who they thought had something special. And over 100 applications came in. We sat our volunteers around a table, and through a lengthy and difficult process, they finally selected 10 individuals to represent the young people of Santa Barbara in this film. Then we went out and interviewed these kids. We took uh, films of them out into the, in the community doing their thing. And remember, these volunteer kids, ages 14 to 16, were running camera, doing sound, moving lights around. And now you're going to see the premiere of this effort. And it's true, adults had a lot to do with this production. But this is very much a film about our kids, inspirational kids, who, among many others, possess that spark within. When I was in elementary school, probably in third or fourth grade, uh, a group of musicians came to the school and brought out all the instruments and lined them all up for the kids to try out. Then ever since, it's, I've just been a drummer. The moment when I realized that I wanted to be a singer-songwriter was from watching Live in Chicago DVD of Jeff Buckley. I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. I want to do that. Those who need love are weaker than us. My homeroom teacher, his name was Sam Adams, and he taught a guitar class after school. We just started jamming out. Two years ago, these college guys made a very Potter musical. We watched that, and then I think we both kind of looked at each other and were like, we could do that. When I was little, I would look up and I'd see these big girls, was how I thought of them, working at whatever they're doing, whether it be gymnastics or ballet or maybe just at school. I would think that I wanted to be like them. Our family went to Europe for four months and um, we're in Berlin. We ended up starting to take trapeze lessons at this old train station Abandoned that these train station. circus squatters had come and taken over. Yeah. And it was this super cool artist community. So we went and started taking classes there. I was in John's social studies class, one of my teachers, and he shows us these really depressing films. They show you that there's people that don't have a house, nice clothes, a bed, and a hot shower. I want to give those people a voice. This girl that, that I was uh, seeing at the time, she played guitar for her church. It was just this symbiotic relationship between the instrument and the singer that I'd never even approached before, and that pretty much changed how I looked at music. A lot of things have been going on in my family, like somebody has problems with alcohol, that's where I told myself I'm gonna stop drinking. If I ever see that somebody's doing something wrong that I used to do, I tell them, you know, I've been there, trust me, listen to me. I got through it, you can get through it. When I was eight years old, um, my mother passed away actually from ovarian cancer. 
seeing her struggle with that and just see how much perseverance it takes to be that incredible of a person has really honestly been my inspiration. Along the way, like all these people that have just been just been pushing me on, saying go for it, they've all been inspirations. Hard work means the satisfaction of doing a job that you put many, many hours of preparation into and seeing it um, just blossom into something that's so beautiful that you couldn't have just scraped together in a couple of hours. Like writing songs, practicing, playing shows, setting up, getting new equipment, finding the right sound that you like, talking to fans, all this stuff goes into being in a band that no one would think goes into being in a band. I think it's become a gradual process realizing that I am a disciplined person who can sit down at the drums and practice for just hours on end and really focus and put in the time. There really is like a physical limit to it. You can only do so much before your muscles give out or your burns are too bad or you're too cut up and your calluses are broken and you can't climb anymore. We had a cast of 14 kids. We had an assistant director, we had a producer, we had a musical director. We got a good base of people, like a community to help us out there. I think that's important. To become the best freaking Jedi ever, you've got to be wise, not just clever. Do what Yoda does, you must. He's a genius, and him you must entrust. When you work really hard at something, you gain many things from it. You gain experience, you gain the feeling of self-respect, you gain the feeling of accomplishment. Follow your dreams, you know, you can be it. It might take a lot of work, but you can get there. I just really want to get to a place where I am the person who makes some kid go like, oh, I really want to do that. What I hope the most is that somebody will be like, we really love what you're doing. I'm gonna go do this too. I feel like I'm changing lives day to day um, just by giving others the opportunity. There is a sense of entitlement with, and with the entitlement comes, comes the responsibility because you are influencing so many people. We hold a responsibility to keep practicing and keep inspiring the ones before us, the junior high kids and the elementary school kids. It's so cute to see like the next generation that pretty much started by seeing us and our company up there doing what we do and mm -hmm. are now just so passionate about it. And I love that. Mm -hmm. One person can just start a ripple effect of awesomeness. No point in wallowing in mainstream sorrow. Yesterday's past to repeat in tomorrow. This generation wasn't born to follow truth. Generation of change and change comes from the youth. Like it's